Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 29. As always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that are not here right now with us at this moment. Um, there's one very important question I have before we get started is, have you filled out your World Cup bracket? Because if not, it's cheating in three hours or four hours when they start. Um, anyway, number 29, it's June 12th, into the agenda. Uh, we're going to do triage, and then we'll do questions and comments if there are any uh, about that kind of thing. I know in the agenda I sent out to the group where I said we were going to talk about burn and all those kind of pull requests, we will talk about those. We just won't do them in this meeting. We'll do them after this meeting um, and all that kind of good stuff. So without further ado, let's go do triage, right? Ready, Bob? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. I thought I saw a bug. I did see a bug just come in. Oh. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All right. So we'll start here at the bottom. This is an old bug. This is still happening in 3.8. Was this bug open? This it was, was open, open, and then... They this... marked it. They're letting us know it happens in 3.8. Yes, I'm sure it still happens in 3.8. Yeah. Okay, that's uh. nice. Can we put this back in 3x and call it... It's in 3 Yeah. Good. Let's mark it open. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I, I've got... <laughs> I'm like, you're right, dude. Or lady, whoever you are. Okay. Yeah. I, I've gotten a couple of comments about this. And apparently this only happens with, you know, uh, hand-authored custom table elements. Um, I'm, so... I'm, yeah. <laughs> He's telling us the bug is still open, and we're like, right. <laughs> and it's in yeah. 3X, so if someone wants to fix it, that'd be awesome. Oh, look, Jacob showed up. Wonderful. Thank you, Jacob, for showing up, because we're going to do the burn pull request after this meeting. I know you're excited. I hope you brought your audio. Um, based on recent Wix users, discussion seems votive already understands linked resources. Well, oh. thanks, Sean. Did, should, we, should we take that as, I guess we can declare it good. All right, Sean, how about you close it then, or resolve it? <laughs> I don't think we need to untriage it. All right, cool. Because it was open. So, yeah, if it's fixed, go ahead and re resolve it fixed. Um, light throws an exception if the X system is size denied. Oh, yes, these. Oh, set attributes. Oh, I saw a pull request for this. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Has this, has this guy done the, the, I don't know who this is. I really don't like people that don't use names. Maybe his name is Champ Lou, but um, or Cham Lou. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, right? See Champ uh, Lou. I don't know. Um, yeah, I truthfully, I've seen a couple of reports about. I don't know if it's this particular problem, Champ Lou, um, or or just in general uh, getting access to the MSI. But you know, if, if you have antivirus running real time. Which is no, I, I, these I, days. Yeah, no, I, I think it's I think it's all good. We should. I mean, his pull request well, might. He's yeah, in the well, right spot, so, right? What, what I'm saying is, I don't. I think the we need a different solution in general, which is we need to have uh, a real retry setup. I think that's fine. Right now, the pull request uh, just translates the exception. Um, well, that's general, a that's a reasonable first step. The second. I think another step that will help us is instead of building to temp, we're going to build to the OBJ folder in Wix 4. Sorry, say that again? In Wix 4, we're going to build to the OBJ folder instead, which hopefully then will make it, because the temp folder is a bit more active for scary stuff. So that the, Oh, cause... I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Anyway, yeah, all, I, I totally agree with all of that. We, we, should, we can take this. He wants to get it in 3.9. That's his request. And you've seen the pull request more than I have. I just saw the pull request and saw that it actually... Interesting. Um, okay. Yeah, we can talk about it. So do we want to take it in 3.9? I mean, that's the question. Or is this going to be the first thing we take in 3.10 kind of thing? Or... Or do you want to say, yeah, this here's how you should do this instead? Or, I mean, what do you want to do with this bug, I guess is what I'm asking. 
Uh, um, I, oh, I, oh, I, my I, master of Wix 3.9. I would. Thank you. I like that. Um, I would. I need to take a look at the pull request again. I, I just glanced at it. Um, because, again, I, I've investigated other bugs along these lines, and, you know, what I found is that there is there is a, a single retry attempt in other places in the code um, with no delay between. So well, that's not going to do a lot of good, is it? Exactly. So, well, anyway, um, yeah, I, I, we might we might also want to take this uh, just if we're in the you know if we're in the path where we're just throwing an exception, that's bad. We should fix that. Right. So, so I'm this, fine is, with... this is not helpful. Yeah. Although exactly. at least it did tell you the path. I mean, you know, it could have been. Yeah, worse. that's true. <laughs> yeah, that we've had worse. Yes. We have those. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm fine with taking this in three nine, and then we can take a look at the pull request and see where we go. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Com interrupt references not included. Wasn't this from last? Yeah, this is from last week. I remember this AZ rolls lib thing, Arizona yeah. rolls lib, and we basically said, yeah, okay. Um, apparently we said it, but didn't touch it. Uh, I, I, that's all you. <laughs> is it still in three eight two? Right, we take this fix in three X. Yeah. Oh, oh John! Just... Oh, was John supposed to take it? Oh, that's oh, cause right. Because right, John said he. Oh. Okay. Yes. Wow. It's a good thing we have Sean around. <laughs> yeah. Well, I should have put something in the bug. I should have assigned it to John. Or I should have done. All right. Um, okay, let's go assign it to John. We have to go ask John what his ad email or his account is, but yeah. There's a Joe Cooper, J.O. Cooper. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> We're going to get the wrong one. He's going to be like, why did I get this mail? Right. What's going on? I have a but What do I do with this? I don't understand. No, anyway. All right, so yes, that's right. Hopefully he'll look at the bug and go, I remember that, and right. you don't. <laughs> well, if right. not, Sean can remind him. Yes, right. <laughs> what, we, what would we do without Sean here? Uh, this is from last week, too. Oh, yeah, I me. reopened it. Um, I dug into it a little bit. Oh. As you can tell from my comment. Um, yeah, there there is something a little busted there. It doesn't um, surprise me, because nobody ever uses this. Yeah, it, yeah. Um, yeah, basically the, the source dir thing is a special case that's handled um, in Resolve font in, in the Fighter fi file manager. Um, I think I think that's a little weird as well, but that's a separate problem. Um, There's a lot of things around that code that's not right because of the way it grew. Yeah. Uh, so resolve file is responsible for for taking sourcester off when it does its uh, search searches. The sourcester is handled both for bind paths and source paths, um, which also a little weird. Um, but if you do the suppress hash or suppress file info, resolve file is never called, and that seems really weird to me. That is kind of weird. Well, if we suppress what, but we put it in the well, cab, it must eventually call. No. Uh, maybe there. Through the, through the well, the problem is with the cab. Well, this is why it fails, right? Or why this particular thing fails. Um, result file changes the field. Oh. Uh, oh. This, this, yeah. This calls. This is called from result fields. I. See. Oh, 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 resolve field. Oh. Oh, yuck. Yeah. Um, well, so the field is wrong. The field still has the sourcester prefix, and when it goes into the cab worker, it fails there because sourcester is, you know, a fake thing. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure SH and SF are gone in four. Okay. Um, so I don't know how much you want to do in three. Uh, well, I, I don't have any any uh, <laughs> desire to actually maintain the sourcester thing. 
because it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I understand, well, having gone through the code, now I understand it. Oh, yeah, okay, it's perhaps mildly useful. Um, but nothing can be accomplished with that that you can't accomplish with, you know, proper bypass. So I don't care really. If it's well, it's, that. yeah, okay. It's just, it's the default as well. From heat. Uh, no, from like if you just if you author without bind paths, all of your files are going to get sourced. To, they're going to get rooted in a source to, If you don't uh, specify, well, yeah, don't specify anything otherwise. So anyway, I, it's just it's it seems so weird to me to have this this fake thing in front of the actual source path. Well, you know? yeah, it it it's a hangover from Wix. Gosh, one. I think it goes all the way back, and it essentially was the first bind path. And back okay, then, it was yeah, the only yeah. bind path, and so it's just kind right, of carried right, right. forward. Yep. So, and it, but it is weird that it gets modified in resolve file. That's pretty goofy. That's not. Yeah. Everything that resolves files should just go. Oh, look! I see Sorcerer. That means right. bind path. Yep. 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 Unnamed bind path. Um. All right. So I don't know what you want to do with this bug. Um. I mean, I'd be okay with fixing it. Uh, I consider it pretty low priority. So you're putting it in three X. Uh, I will, yeah, I think it's fine to go into 3x if someone wants to fix it. All right, and you have characterized the issue now, so that's all good. Yeah. All right. If someone wants to go in there, I've pretty much given you the the right methods to go into. Which compiler allows building MSI with fourth version index larger than four? Oh. Yeah, this one was this one was pretty interesting. Um, is there really a limit? I suppose there's a limit. There is. Well, the, does MSI document it? There isn't an MSI limit. They don't it's document not, it? Oh, it's not they, an MSI limit. It's not an MSI limit. This is product version, and the SDK yeah. is very clear that, that the product version is only three fields, and they completely discuss uh, don't, don't discuss a fourth field. Now, you go into a file version, they do point out that each field is 16-bit. So my assumption, and you know what happens there, no, Heath, it is not documented that way. Not in the SDK, not in the MSI SDK. They talk about 255, 255, 65535. They do not mention a fourth field. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is, you know, uh, it, I mean, I'm not. It, it works because for the most part, MSI treats it as a string. You know, as far as ARP goes, for example. But you know, it'll work. You can build it. You can install it. Oh, but Burn can't handle. it. Burn fails. Burn falls down because, of course, you can't. Uh, it tries to turn it into a keyword, and that fails. Um, the compiler validates the first three fields only. All right. So does MSI fail if you put a number higher than six five five three five in the fourth version? You can certainly build it. Hold on. So does the MSI install? That's what I don't know. Okay. Because then this is actually a fix in the binder for bundles, such that they they spit out a warning and say, "We dumped your fourth version or something." I don't know what the right thing to do is, but it it shouldn't yeah. die just because it found an MSI. It's like, oh, I can't get that version. It should just tell you, you have a version that I can't represent in burn. Stop being weird. Um, we've given you a version number with the first three numbers and the last one zero. Or or six five five three five whatever we decide yeah. to do there. Or it's not even that. Can burn handle six five five three five? Yeah, because it's a word. Yeah. Right. Yep. It's a word in burn. Each of those is a word in burn. Right. So yeah, I'm inclined to just put a warning in burn or in the binder for burn case. And if MSI handles it, then we shouldn't block. Like if MSI can handle a fourth version index larger than that, then we should just go. Well, yeah, you know, whatever. Because I think you're right. It's like a string. Yeah, because I don't think it breaks it down. You know, cause it, like it represents each of the it, it it represents the three fields as individual D words like in ARP, but again, it it kind of ignores that fourth one. Mm -hmm. I I don't know. I, I I agree. We should actually find out if if I but the original reporter was using it, so I'm you know pretty sure it actually works. Um. 
which means that the MSI is fine. Yeah. Which means the MSI documentation is probably correct. There is no limit on the fourth version. I wonder if you could put letters in there. Oh, God, semantic versioning. I'm just saying, I wonder if you can. If so, then that means that MSI created semantic versioning before semantic versioning. That's <laughs> <crazy as> that. <laughs> Except they probably wow. don't, they don't do the right math on the strings. But anyway, uh, <laughs> neither here nor there. Yeah. Um, oh, that would so bug them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, neither it? here nor there. Um, I don't, I, so the answer here is we should allow the MSI version and then the burn bundle should not die and should spit out a, ver a warning. Um, yeah, if MSI works it. Yes. Takes it. And if MSI has a limit, like li literally MSI has a limit, then yes, we should protect against that even if it's not, I guess even if it's not documented. I don't know. We, yeah, because there's no point in letting them die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's asking why a warning. And my point is that Burn can handle most of the versions from MSI. It's just the fourth version being too high. So my thing is saying, if an MSI version is too high, just give a warning saying, we have truncated your fourth version. Uh, actually, that's interesting. Maybe Burn should not be looking... Maybe Burn should only take the first three fields from an no, MSI. No, 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 because because we have in Burn the convention of doing the minor upgrades based off the fourth version, which works fantastically for MSIs. Minor upgrades. Right. So you change you one of the easiest ways to do minor upgrades and be able to tell what version you have out there is to change the fourth version. Are you talking about literal major minor upgrades? Sure, or, or patches, small updates, all the, whichever ones you want to do, right? Minor upgrades, you can change the product version, right? And change the fourth field. It's not a major upgrade. Oh, I minor upgrades, let's change the first three. Ooh, okay, fine. We, I always forget. The small update, then. That can't change the Wait. product version. Although maybe it could change the fourth field. Right. <laughs> I don't think minor upgrades have to change the first three fields. Let's go remember remember that. I don't. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, well, so the problem then is if we warn, the warning is basically uh, you you might have up, upgrades might no longer work. Well, we're going to truncate basically saying yeah, burn doesn't handle for MSI handles it. Burn doesn't. Warning. We've we've maxed out at this number. Sorry. Although MSI doesn't quote unquote handle it. Because there's no functionality, there's no upgrade functionality based on that. Yeah, yeah fair enough. So, so I'm just saying, but people, yeah. if people treat it like a fourth version, they're going to expect Burn to treat it like a fourth version, and Burn does, right? It tries, obviously. Up to. And then it's like, you have a version that we can't represent in normal version semantics. We know MSI did goofy things by doing 255, 255, and weird things like that. We're sorry. We can't handle that crazy MSI things. But it's just a warning because in general, you don't care about the fourth version in this thing anyway. And it would only matter if you were using it. Oh, but are we going to look for that MSI with that version? <sighs> Do we have to find the MSI with that version number? Do we actually look at the version number? I, th I, I don't know if this is for... This might just be for um, display purposes. Like package information. Uh, as in what the user is using such a big number for? Does it matter for burn? All right. So Sean looks like he's gone back to the mail and saying that MSI is having problems, too. No, no, no. That's burn failing to initialize. Oh, burn. Yeah. Well, OK. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me that burn's having problems. But it fails at install time, which is bad. Which is uh, the, that's what I'm saying. The binder needs to change such that it sets this correctly. Although Burns parsing it, so it's like either we error and say you can't put this MSI in a bundle, which means that if it's a third-party MSI and you don't care about the, those version numbers and stuff, you're screwed. We've just broken behavior that used to work. Right. Or well, no. It didn't well, work. it didn't work before. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, you just turned my mind. 
I'm, so it's either an error or a warning in the binder for when parsing this version number out of an MSI. And it may be an error if MSI can't handle version numbers higher than this. So we just need to go look at all those things, figure out what the answer is, and put the appropriate error or warning in there. Um, yes, I, I'm, I'm, I lean toward erroring, um, regardless of whether MSI handles it. This is not the right, this is not the right version of information. Yeah. No, look at product version. Yeah, that's all right. Get it later. So, yeah, that. No, no, Jacob. No, no. no. <laughs> We're not going to add another overflow and things like that. No. Um, so, since it has never worked, I would be okay with an error in this case. Um, but if MSI accepts it, then I think we have to have the discussion of, uh, okay, if it's a warning, what doesn't work correctly? Right. That's I agree not, with that. Sounds great. Let's go have that discussion after we go figure out what the answer is or what okay. the actual issues are. Because at this point, we're making a whole bunch of hypotheses about stuff that, yep. whatever. All right. Cool. I think we're done then. Sean said he couldn't assign the bug to him. We'll go look at that later. Yeah, Jacob's like, we could go parse each of these things as D words until someone has something that's bigger than a D word, then we have to go to a Q word, and then until they do that. I mean, if MSI is treating those things as strings, then there's just nothing we do there. And no, version numbers are real simple in Windows. I don't know why we keep making them so hard. Or why no. people choose to make it's like just don't. Don't do those things. Well, we could. You could. And then you have all kinds of problems. Well, it should work. Well, guess what? You're going to have a lot of problems. And I'm done. So. Well, anyway. the Q, Q word is perfect. The fact well, that you can get, take care of all your versioning with I know. one if, if, entity. Oh, but that assumes just... that you're going to make each of the things the unsigned int. So. Yeah, which is perfectly reasonable. Unless you're semantic versioning fiend. Well, I don't know. I don't know what those are. All right. Anything else for today? Sounds like there's a lot of discussion. Someone should go take that bug. There's a whole lot of people that got excited about that bug. Someone should go fix it. Go figure out what the right answer is, and, or at least come back with the data. I, I do it, but I'm just not there right now. Anything else? Anything else? Any other questions, comments? Keith's saying we need to fix remaining tests. I don't know what that means. Eternally, I used to require a test pass before commit. Uh, test pass. Well, yeah, we required people to test it. We didn't always require a test. We were trying to get there, but we weren't always there. Because, frankly, things were somewhat unreliable. Ah, so we, if some tests are broken, we should like get bugs open and tracking those so we know what's going on, at least somehow raise the visibility of them. Because if they're quietly failing and we're not seeing them, then we should do that. A proposal to avoid conflicts. I don't know what conflicts. Let's just open bugs. I don't we don't need to open a wiki and stuff like that. We just let's just open bugs for the things that are busted. There are a lot of broken tests. Interesting. All right. Well, we should go have this discussion on Wix devs then. If there are a lot of tests, we should just go get them. Like, we should get what the list is, and then we'll go from there. Um, we need to get the test changes in so that they run first, and then we can go from there. I think that's actually a lot of it. If the tests are easily runnable, then, yeah, let's just, you know, People will be able to run them, and then they're broken, and they they can get fixed. And the test, you know, tests. I'm really comfortable in improving tests incrementally over time. They don't need to. You know, they don't interfere with you know the real code. So 
there's no reason to you know lock them down or anything like that. No, you cannot make that change to a test. We are in lockdown. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> I totally agree. You think that doesn't happen? <laughs> so, oh, yeah, gosh, please, seriously. That. Oh, my gosh. People actually say you can't take that. T well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. All right, whatever. We got anything else? Anything else out there? Going, going. We need to get on to another thing. So half our meetings, all right. Any other questions, comments? People typing, typing, typing. That version thing's kind of curious about it. So. Oh, for the review. Oh yeah, I know. It's fine. Yeah, I went through most of the code, so it, it was it was improvements in line of the changes that I made to get XUnit working too. So I'm all like, yay! We need to keep plowing through this to make it better and better. So good point. Um. All right. Well, on that note, if we don't have anything else, uh, triage is all good. Should not have taken a half hour, but we'll work on that. Um. Anything else, Bob? Uh, let's take a quick pass through 3.9, see where we're at from last week, the last time we did it. This? Oops, sorry. Yeah, that one. We're going to talk about this in a little bit. This is still mine. This you have. This you have. This I have on my machine that I need to finish. We're going to talk about this in a little bit. Heath, you have a bunch of things to get in 3.9 or not. <laughs> I guess what, you want to get the test in first, and then we're going to see all these other things start popping up? That's fine by me, but... All right, well... Okay. Sounds good to me. Bob, do you have a timeline when these have to get in for 3.9? Uh, you know, we're in your your typical slip mode. So you want to slip for these? I mean, I, well, I'm I mean, just we're, asking. We're already slipping, right? We're slipping for the other features as well. So, um, I mean, I, I would still like to target this week. Okay. Uh, to start wrapping stuff up. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this then, week, cool. Then yeah, then you know we look into next week for a you know pre, pre RC build kind of thing. Right, Monday, right? Well, Just, you want to get a build. To... Sorry, sorry. You want to get a build out for people here to kick tires, and then a build out yeah. later in the week to go. Yeah, look, RC should be here. So, all right, so. Uh, okay, that's a lot of stuff to come in in you know two days. Hence, hence pre RC. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm not expecting perfection out of the next build just because of. The and to be uh, clear, the 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 build is Monday, right? That's what you wanted. Well, you're you're the build engineer. What do you say? Yeah, I mean that's what you want. I'm I, I, I'll, I'll get you as close as I can to it. Um. Yeah, if, if well, that that depends on when the stuff comes in. Okay. Obviously, I'm I'm up for reviewing this week, um, or this weekend rather. Uh, so if stuff is coming in today, tomorrow, over the weekend. You know, yes, but you know, truthfully, if it's not all in by the time of the build, then that's a problem. I would like to get everything in by Monday. All right, sounds um, good by me. Pre RC build, and then you know, uh, have have the people with the the straggling last minute features take a look at that build and give us their blessing, and then we can call an RC. Awesome. Cool. Down with that. All right. So I need to get my two bugs in in a hurry. Cool. All right. A zoom, zoom, zoom. All right. So on that note, I think we're good. So if you have stuff in here, let's go get them in, which means, Sean and Jacob, let's go talk. And I don't know what you're going to do about 
Champlu, which at this point Jacob think is C Hamplu. But I don't know. All right. Uh, wonderful Thursday. Have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever it might be for you, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Talk to you later. <laughs>